U.S. spy agencies accuse North Korea of trying to build new missiles. The setback could hurt President Trump's push for peace. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. Published reports cast doubt on President Trump's claims of victory last month. Evidence shows he may have dismissed North Korea's nuclear threat too soon. Tonight, new satellite photos suggest work is underway on one, possibly two, intercontinental ballistic missiles at a research facility outside Pyongyang. The images could reveal a different agenda less than two months after North Korea leader Kim Jong-un shook the president's hand at their historic meeting. They signed an agreement to work toward complete denuclearization of the Korean peninsula. We haven't had a missile fired off in nine months. We got our prisoners back. So many things have happened so positive. The president referring Monday to one promise kept from Chairman Kim, the return of U.S. service members remains killed in the Korean War. But Kim isn't as keen to remove his missiles. Last week, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo confirming he may be producing even more. North Korea continues to produce fissile material. Yes, they continue to produce fissile material. In June, the president quickly signaled victory after returning from his summit with Kim Jong-un. At the time, he claimed there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. That may not be true, but there are some signs of progress. Generals from North and South Korea met today to hammer out differences and build trust between the two sides. This South Korean general says the two sides agreed to restore military hotlines and discussed ways to de-escalate the area along their shared border. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo heads to a forum in Singapore this weekend focused on security throughout Asia. North Korea's foreign minister will be present. A meeting between the two is possible but not confirmed. Lauren. Mark, we're learning about the future of White House Chief of Staff John Kelly today. Tell us about that. Yes, Lauren, reports say Chief of Staff John Kelly told senior aides that President Trump asked him to stay in his role through 2020. Kelly hit the one-year mark as Chief of Staff earlier this week. He is credited with bringing order to the West Wing. Speculation about his exit has flared for months, but he's telling staffers that he's agreed to stay on. Lauren. White House correspondent Mark Irons. Thank you, Mark.